All right, so for those of you that don't know me, my name is Sarah. This is Kids Yoga. So Santino, you might be part of the class. Um, get out of here. All right, so this class runs from 4 o'clock till 4.45. It's Kids Yoga. You don't need much um, to participate. Really just comfortable clothes to move around in, a water bottle, is always a good idea. A yoga mat is great if you have one, but you certainly don't need it. If you don't have a yoga mat, you can use a towel, a blanket, um, or just the ground. Just something that's like a little bit sticky maybe. So that's why a yoga mat or a workout mat is really great because it prevents you from sliding. All right, so I see a few more have joined. So again, my name's Sarah. This is a Roots to Rise kids yoga class. Um, all the classes are free, but we do accept donations through Venmo or Venmo and PayPal. And on the website, there's Squarespace. So it's all pretty easy to find. The Venmo, it's just Roots number two rise. PayPal is roots two rise.com. And then for the Squarespace, just go to our website, roots to rise.com. Um, okay, so we'll get started. Um, so kids yoga, pretty simple. We'll start by talking about our breath, noticing our breath, and then we'll go, we'll go through a couple breathing exercises, and then we'll move around, and then at the end it's like all about calming down. So pretty simple, pretty fun, I think it's fun. Um, okay, so let's get started. So wherever you are, come to a comfortable seat. And the first thing we always want to do is do like a spot check. So look around, make sure there's nothing super close to you that you can kick over or get hurt on. So I see I should maybe move these wood panels over a little. All right, so if there's anything in your space that could get knocked over or you could get hurt if you slip on it, move it <laughs> or find a new space. Okay, always easier to move it in the beginning than get hurt later and wish you had moved it. All right, what else? I think that's it for starting off. Okay, so if I'm sitting up on a pillow. Um, it's called a bolster, it's like a yoga pillow. You can sit up on something if you have or just sit regular on the floor. Go lay down, bud. Okay, and let's just start by bringing our hands to heart center. So this kind of looks like you're praying. So people call it prayer. Um, Anjali Mudra is like a fancy grown-up name for it. Just bring your hands together. Softly close your eyes. Take a big breath in. Sit up nice and tall like you're very, very proud. And gently bow your head. Okay, that's, that's it. That's how we start. Okay, so first thing, let's talk about our breath. So take your hands nice and wide and hold on to your ribs. So now notice where I'm holding. I'm not holding my armpits, I'm not holding my hips, okay? I'm holding my ribs, those long skinny bones that go um, ar all around your body. You'll feel your ribs in the front and you'll feel them in the back. So hold on to your ribs. You should be able to feel them if you squeeze hard enough. Now I don't want anybody squeezing themselves like so hard that it's like painful, okay? Just, just hold on to yourself, okay? If you want, you can close your eyes. It might help you to concentrate, but you don't have to. Um, so holding on to your ribs and make sure your thumbs are in the back of you. So for a back view, see my thumbs are in the back, okay? So hold on to your ribs. Take a nice big breath in and a big breath out. Now, still hold on to your ribs. And I want you to kind of like lean forward, like kind of crunch yourself up like a little snail. And now try to do your big breath in and feel your ribs. Okay, now sit up straight. You should feel how your ribs are like trying to move, but it's kind of hard because you're crunched over. So now sit up straight and tall. Pretend that someone has a string or a rope at the tippy top of your head and they're like gently tugging you up. So you're sitting like super, <laughs> super proud. Go. And 
So you're sitting up straight and tall, holding on to your ribs. Now, take a big breath in and a big breath out. Did you feel how much more your ribs moved? I hope so. Um, when you sit up straight and tall, your ribs are able to open and close more, and that helps you to breathe. Because your ribs have a very important job. They protect your heart and your lungs and lots of other things. But in yoga, we talk a lot about our breath, our breathing. So if you think about it, if you want to be able to breathe as much as you can, what do you think is better? To be like this all the time, like kind of slouchy? No, you got to sit up straight and tall, and you'll be able to breathe like your biggest, fullest breaths. Okay, I know, there's a lot of talking in the beginning. We'll move soon, I promise. Okay. So we can use our breath to help us calm down. If we're feeling angry, stressed out, maybe like we're too excited and we need to chill, you can use your breath to calm down. Or maybe you need to wake up and like get moving and you're feeling like you don't have any energy, you're really tired. Um, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good today. So I'm gonna show you a calming breath and then we'll do an energizing breath too because it's, it's a fan favorite, kids love it. Okay, first for our calming down breath, I want you to pretend you have a dandelion. The, the wishy flowers, you know, the ones that are like uh, white and fluffy and you blow them and they float away. I, I used to call them wishies when I was a kid. Um, okay, so pretend you have one. Maybe you can hold up your finger like that's a pretend wishy, whatever you want to do. And we're going to use three big breaths to blow all the wishies away. Okay. So take one big breath in and blow your flower away. Now think about it, you didn't get them all. So are we gonna do our next breath like, no, we might get like two more. You gotta blow like as long as you can and very gentle and steady, okay? Two more breaths. And you got them all. Okay, so you could even close your eyes and really get into it. Like really pretend that you have a little flower in your hand that you're trying to blow away. Okay, so the next one, we're gonna start to wake up a little bit. You, I'm gonna ditch my bolster. Stand up in the middle of your mat. And now notice how I'm standing. My legs aren't like as wide as they can possibly be but they're also not um, closed up like a regular standing position either. So see, I don't wanna be like this. I don't wanna be like this. Okay, kinda just be like, like a ready to go in a jumping jack position. Okay, so let's get in our position and see how my feet are turned out, like just so that they're facing the same way as my knees. So my feet are facing the corners of my yoga mat, okay? So make sure you're all set up like that. Take a big breath in, arms overhead, and just watch me for the first one. This is called lion's breath. Big breath in, and out, okay? So when you breathe out, you kind of, kind of crunch down, and bring your elbows to your knees and you stick your tongue out like a lion. Like you can even kind of make a growl with it if you want. Okay, ready? We'll do four more. Ready? Two more. One more, make it good. Okay, and that's your lion's breath. So that one should make you feel more awake than before. If not, write me a comment and we'll figure it out. Okay, so we always like to begin with a sun salutation. If you've taken um, my yoga class before, my kids yoga class before, you know that, a, that salutations just means like, hello, it means greetings, um, nothing fancy. So when we do a sun salutation, it's kind of like we're saying hello to the sky, the sun, the world. 
Now, of course, we're not really doing that, but that's just what they call it. Okay, so we always start the same way. Take a big breath in like the sunrise. Breathe out and fold over like the sunset. Breathe in and come up halfway. Breathe out and fold all the way down. We'll do just that two more times. One more. Okay, now let's walk our hands out and come into table. Okay, so table position. Table position, are we? So table position, you want to press down, press the ground away. And we always talk about you want to be in a really strong table. So pretend like you just picked up pizza for dinner and it has that really melty cheese on it and you put it on the table. If your table is crooked, the cheese is going to slide all over. So you got to protect that cheese. You got to be in a really straight and strong table. Press your hands down, press your knees down, tuck your toes, press your toes down. So that if someone, someone were to come and try to knock you over, they wouldn't be able to. Okay? So now we're going to move through cat and cow pose. So cow pose will come first. You're going to drop your belly and look up to the sky. And next one, try to guess it. If you round your back and push the ground away. This one is called cat. So Take a breath in, look up for cow. Breathe in for cat, or out for cat. Breathe in for cow. Breathe out for cat, beautiful. Okay, tuck your toes, lift your bottoms, and you are in downward dog. All right, so to start, Pedal it out. We call this walk in our dog. Bend and straighten your knees, your legs. Do whatever feels good in your legs. Maybe stay on one side for a breath or two. Maybe stay on the other side. And really just pedal it out. Next step, keep your right foot down, lift your left leg straight up and back. Fix your shirt if you need to. Lift up your left leg, maybe shake it back and forth, like you're wagging your tail. Lower it down, lift your right leg, shake it back and forth. Lower it down and pedal it out again. Oh, we've been up here for a long time. Look up at your hands, step up to the middle, and you are in a wide, or you're, you are in a forward fold. Now let's be in ragdoll. So hold on to opposite elbows. Sway from side to side. Let go and slowly, slowly come all the way up. Beautiful. All right. Now back at the front. Bring your arms overhead. On the Facebook, it's kind of hard to see me. Let me. Dad.
Okay, sorry. All right, bring your arms overhead. Right hand, hold on to your left hand. Take a big breath in, lean over to the right. Mm. Big breath in, back to the middle. Switch. Breath in. When you breathe out, lean over to the left. Come back to the middle. Bring your legs wide apart. So wider than the lion's breath. Bring your legs wide apart and we're gonna move through our warrior poses. So turn your left foot out. Keep your right foot how it is. Arms out like Texas T. Bend into your left leg for warrior two. Keep your arms out strong. Now you have a choice. You can be strong like a warrior, like a peaceful warrior with peace signs, or you can go for a surf. A lot of the kids like to go for a surf. It's whatever you want to do. Either way, make sure you're breathing the whole time. Remember the ribs from the beginning. If you're like kind of slouchy, you can't get as much breath. But if you're really nice and tall, you can breathe very deeply. And you can still bend your leg a lot and be tall. So you think like you're getting really heavy in your legs, but really light up top. Good job, guys. Straighten your front leg and tip over that same leg. Remember triangle pose, good job. My Tuesday and my other kids were getting really good at this one. Come back up through that Texas T and reverse. Arms out like a T, and we're gonna zip it up on three. One, two, three. Good job. All right, legs back out wide. Second side, remember we have two sides, we always have to do both. Bring your right foot out to the right. Keep your left foot how it is. Arms out like a T. Look over to the right and bend into the right leg. Good job. Remember, shrug your shoulders up so you can get really tall and then bend your leg. Good job, guys. Breathe. You can be a strong warrior. You can go for a surf. Whatever you wanna do, as long as you're breathing. Straighten your front leg. And I'm a little teapot, tip over, or triangle pose. Big breath in, big breath out, and come up like a T, and reverse, backwards triangle. Good job, arms out like a T, and we're gonna zip it up once more. Hands to hips, one, two, three, good job. Bring your left leg out in front so it's bent. And we're gonna go for tree pose. We love tree pose. So you can choose if you want your foot. You have three choices. Foot can be up high, <clears throat> middle level, like at your calf, or like a kickstand. Doesn't matter what you do. You can also hold on to the wall, or if you're doing this with a brother or sister or a friend, or if there's a chair, you can hold, it doesn't matter. You can hold on, hold on to something if you want or not. Either way, we're gonna get started. So the only rule, make sure your foot isn't on your knee. You, that's, you can get hurt, so just be careful. Arms overhead. Just find, work on finding your balance for a minute. Sometimes I like my hands on my hips, that helps me balance. And I'm looking at something on the wall across from me that is not Moving, that's the trick to balancing, woo. All right, and when you feel like you have your balance, woo, I don't yet, bring your arms overhead. And we are gonna go through the seasons. So we like to say, this is summer, the leaves fall in fall, and then it's winter, and they bloom in the spring. Summer, fall, 
winter, no leaves on the tree, right? And spring, beautiful, one more. Summer, fall, winter, and spring. Switch, all right, shake it out. Good job. All right, bring your right leg straight out in front of you, and then you can pick, do you want it up high, in the middle, or down on the ground? And remember, you can hold on to a wall, a chair, a brother, a sister, whatever you got. And now look at something across the room that's not moving, and that will help you balance. When you have your balance, stay still. Or when you have your balance, put your whoa, arms overhead. And we're starting in spring. Bring your arms out wide for summer. Big full leaves on the trees, right? Fall down for fall. Back at the middle for winter. Spring is up at the top. So the leaves are starting to come out. Summer, fall, winter, spring. One more. Summer, fall, winter, spring. And shake it out. Good job. All right, and you know this is a good time to shake it out um, for five. So if you haven't done this before, it's Pretty easy, as long as you can count to five, or I'm doing it, so just listen to me. So we're gonna go through our finger, our hands and our feet. So we'll shake each one out five, going backwards. So five, 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 five. Now four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I just realized I did it wrong before. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, 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 one. And that's a really good way to just get your wiggles out. All right, let me see what time it is. All right, cool. So this is a good time for a water break. I always need a water break. <clears throat> All right, and let's meet on our mats in table pose. So we're in table and we're gonna come for a lunge. So lift your left leg, bring it up to the front, and then lift your back leg. So we're gonna be in a high lunge. So back leg's lifted, front leg's bent, come all the way up. Arms overhead, good job. Make sure that front leg is bent. Sometimes we end up being like two straight legs. Front leg is forward. Good job. Breathe. Big breath in. Big breath out. Bring your hands down. And we're gonna jump switch, ready? One, two, three. All right, awesome. If you feel like you have a lot of energy today, you can jump switch a couple more times and meet us with your right foot in front. All right, when you're ready, slowly rise all the way up. Back leg is straight. <clears throat> front leg is bent. Arms overhead. Good job. Hands are spread wide. Fingers are spread wide like you're holding a basketball overhead. Breathe, and bring your hands down, and come back to downward dog. Good job, pedal it out, bring your knees down, and I realize I usually do this in the beginning, but I forgot. Let's take a couple breaths in rock pose. So rock pose is great. You can always come to rock pose when you're tired, you just need a break. Um, it's just a good one. So rock pose is also known as child's pose. 
<clears throat> so have your knees wide and your feet together and then your arms out in front of you. And your forehead can be like, almost like your face is on the mat. Maybe you can get your face to the mat as long as it's comfortable. And this is like a pose that we come to, to rest and relax. So if you're ever feeling tired and we're doing like downward dog or warrior two and you don't feel like doing it, you can just do rock pose. All right, come all the way up. And I'm gonna get another drink of water. And then we're gonna do some seated poses. All right, for my seated poses, I like to have my bolster and I kind of sit on the edge of it. So that's up to you. Kids don't, don't always need one or want one, but if you want one, go ahead, but you don't need it. Okay, so let's start in um, butterfly pose. So have your feet, the bottoms of your feet together and your knees wide and flutter your butterfly, butterfly wings. All right, keep fluttering, fly away. All right, now find some stillness. So that means stay still. And now bow in. Maybe bring your wings up like you're in a safe little ball. Good job. Now bring your legs out long. Bend your left knee. Hold on to it with your right hand and twist over to the left. Good back stretch. Don't go too far. If, if yoga ever starts to hurt, you gotta stop what you're doing. It just feel like nice, good stretches <sighs> that wake you up and calm you down. Never hurting. Straighten your both. Straighten both your legs. Now bend your left leg and twist to the right. Come back to the middle. Now bend your left leg in and lean and reach for your right foot. Bring your left arm overhead and kind of make like a rainbow with your hand. Maybe that helps you stretch a little closer to your foot. All right, gently come up and switch. Bring your right foot in, your left leg out long. <clears throat> Lean over to the right. The left, I mean, sorry. Bring your right hand overhead and make a rainbow with your right hand. Ah, uh, it feels so good in the sides. All right, slowly come back up to the middle and let me check the time. No idea. 4.30, okay, cool. All right, we'll do a couple more standing poses. Okay, come all the way back up to the top. Chair pose, we haven't done this one in a while. All right, so for chair pose, you want your legs just like you're standing normal, okay? We're not wide, we're not like super close together, just like this, okay? Bring your arms overhead and sit low, like you're sitting in a little doll chair that's like way too small for you and you gotta reach for it. 
<clears throat> lower, lower, and let yourself go all the way down. Good job. All right, hold on to the backs of your legs, and we're gonna do boat pose. So bring your shoulders up towards your ears and back. Start to lean back, holding onto the backs of your legs until you're balancing on your bottom. Kick one leg out, then the other leg, and keep doing that. Maybe if you feel brave, kick them both out. Maybe let go. Whoa. Slowly lower. Ah. All right. From your back, we are going to do bridge pose and then a wheel pose, back bend. Okay, so for bridge pose, can you both? <laughs> okay. All right, make your arms like little um, robot arms or like a T-Rex and press your elbows down. And see how my fingers are spread wide? I don't have like lazy hands. Fingers are spread wide. I'm pretending I'm holding a basketball over my chest, but I'm not. Press, my, press your elbows down and your feet down and lift up your hips. Stay right here. Lift your hips an inch or two higher. Lift your left leg. Lift your right leg. And gently lower. Good job. Okay, so for wheel, wheel is one you have to be very, very careful with. <clears throat> um, a lot of kids are very good at wheel because they're very bendy. <clears throat> Excuse me. So they think they can just hop right into it. But you have to be so careful with a back bend. I'll show you how. But you can only do it if you follow my steps, I'm telling you. Got to be careful. Bring your hands outside your head so your fingers are pointing down towards your body. And flip over so you're on the top of your head. Watch me. Okay, now fix your hands so they feel right. And now I can press up into wheel. Ready? Ugh, press. Beautiful. Good job, guys. Press the ground away. Now slowly lower back to the top of your head and flip back down. It's a much safer way to do wheel rather than just throwing yourself up there. Okay. <clears throat> Next we'll do candlestick pose. So it's kind of like bridge where you lift up your bottom but you hold onto the backs of your hips and you send your legs straight up. So it's kind of awkward to get into it. But once you're in, it's great. Lift your legs straight up. Good job. Make sure you look at your feet the whole time. Maybe bring your feet overhead. And gently lower. Good job. Windshield might bring your legs from side to side. Our favorite part. Bring one let bring your left leg in, your right leg out, and switch. Switch again. <clears throat> switch one more time. All right. Now we're going to do one of our calming down. Um, breathing exercises that we always do. The balloon breath, but we're going to do it laying down this time. So for this one, you're going to, you can close your eyes if you feel comfortable. You're going to pretend you have a balloon and we're going to blow it up, but it's going to take us 
four, let's do four. So I'm gonna take us four really long and slow and strong breaths to blow the whole thing up. And then we're gonna deflate it by um, doing the same thing. So we're gonna breathe all the air out. So first think of what kind of balloon you wanna have. Think of what color it is. Maybe it's tie dye, they make tie dye balloons. Maybe it's clear and there's like glitter and sparkles and confetti inside it and whenever you blow into it, all the confetti swirls around. All right, so I have my balloon in my head. All right, and when you're ready, bring your hands over your heart, like your fingertips all touching, but your fingers are spread. So like you're holding your balloon, but it's not blown up yet. And remember, four breaths to get it to its maximum size. So take a big breath in, breathe out, Three more just like that. Breathe in. Breathe out. And make sure you're making your balloon get bigger over your chest. Two more. Look at that big balloon. All right, now you're gonna suck all the air out, but it's gonna take you four times. So same thing, breathe, breathe some air in, and make the balloon get smaller. One more. Good job. All right, lift your left leg straight up to the sky. Grab a hold of behind it, straighten your right leg. Give a little pull very gently. Switch. All right, now we're gonna get ready for resting pose. So do whatever you need to do. Maybe you like to get a blanket. Maybe you want to get a pillow. Maybe you want to turn the lights off. Whatever you want to do to feel all the way relaxed is fine with me. Um, a good tip that I like is to lay down on your yoga mat and kind of roll yourself up into it like um, you're a yoga burrito. That can be really nice. It just helps if you make it a little bit darker for yourself. So you can even move down your yoga mat and go like this and just cover your eyes. So I want you to think about a very relaxing, <clears throat> very calming, space. Um, maybe it's a place you've been that you feel really happy every time you're there. Maybe it's a place you're making up. Maybe it's, um, I don't know, a, a great dream you had. Um, some people like to go away to like a magical forest with fairies or whatever feels like nice and dreamy to you. We're going to lay very still. We're going to lay very still for just two minutes. I know that's like the hardest part. We're not actually going to fall asleep. If you do fall asleep, that's okay, but we're not trying to fall asleep. I'm going to lay down too. So just lay very still, however is comfortable for you.
All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. Um, so again, my name is Sarah. This is Kids Yoga every Monday from 4 to 4.45. Um, yeah, pretty simple. Any questions, leave a comment or send a message. Um, thanks for coming.